Pisces. So let's find out what's happening in the second half in regards to love. In the second half of January in regards to love. Second half. What kind of Pisces is spent? Okay, there we go. Just thinking about that many cards. Bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have the Empress in reverse. So for those of you who are single, um, I'm still not picking up necessarily that it's going to change quickly. But I am sensing that 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 there's energy of you taking accountability or really facing, I just heard facing those demons, really facing those things that you feel that you've been holding on to that's holding you back. Whoa. So we have the seven of wands. So like I said, uh, Pisces, the second week, you're going to be taking more accountability. Uh, you're going to be trying to actively fight off those feelings of which that, you know, I'm hearing like, I just heard fight off the petty. You're going to be trying to fight off uh feelings of hurt feelings of despair feelings of, just her feelings of worthlessness for some of you you're, you're wondering like why isn't it happening for me what's going on so you're going to be fighting those those i'm hearing affirmations some of you will or maybe you're into affirmations but some of you will be utilizing affirmations to kind of bring yourself back back up back to where you want to be queen of wands you're going to be getting out the house pisces you're going to be networking with friends you're going to be very busy you're going to be you know Maybe you are this queen of wands. You're going to be the talk of the town, but you're definitely going to be getting out. So what I'm picking up for you, Pisces, in that first week after sulking um, around the house or feeling down on yourself or just all of that, you're going to jump into this energy that second week of January of, oh, no. Oh, no, we're not doing this. So you're going to become this queen of wands right here. Then we have the three of swords. I, see, in doing this, in making the effort to soldier on let things go fight things off um speak goodness into yourself you're going to be coming out of that heartbreak so it may not happen right away like snap or for some of you it may it may um however though you're coming out of heartbreak you're going to be actively working towards letting the things that's holding you back in regards to love go even if that's just ideologies Wow, sevens came out again. So for some of you with the seven of swords, it may be somewhat of a false mask, almost like a fake it till you make it. That's what I'm picking up for those of you um, that this message resonates for. It'll be a fake it till you make it. However, in doing this, you're conditioning yourself. You're, you know, you're getting into the habit. You're, you're reconditioning yourself out of that stubborn and negative energy. So some of you are going to be painting on smiles, even when you go out with friends. You know, for some of you, I just heard, um, I don't want him. Like you're gonna be pretending. You're gonna be pretending as if you're not still stuck on that person. You know, if someone brings that person up, or the person that you have children with. Um, for those of you that this is resonating, um, if you have children with this person, um, but you're gonna be painting on a smile. You're gonna be faking it till you making it. But it's gonna lead you towards sincere, sincerely, let, sincerely letting go. We have the oh wow, the knob of uh, wands came out again. The page of wands. So in regards to your love life, I'm still not seeing crazy action. I'm still seeing you closed off, but more so that second half of the month, Pisces, you're going to be a lot more focused on getting yourself back to an equilibrium that you'll be ready to, because this is still that person, you know, that you feel that you have to truly let go of. This is still that person, um, that you still might be kind of holding on to, uh, so definitely in regards to, it's like you're going to have the appearance of being open to new relationships for those of you that this resonates for, but this person right here is still going to be lingering in your energy. Uh, however, you, you're you taking strides to fight, fight this thing off and let go. And then we, oh wow, two of swords came out in reverse again. So you're still going to kind of be in that indecisive energy of, what am I going to do? Am I decided? You know, uh, so I'm going to do it actually for some of, so you're decided in regards to moving forward, moving on, you know, figuring it out, 
even if you're still hurt, still going out. But at the same time, it's like, because this person is still here, still lingering, and you still trying to move on, it's like, I know I want to, but I can't yet. I haven't yet, but I'm going to try. I'm going to at least put in the action of moving forward if it doesn't happen in reality for me just yet. That's what I'm picking up in regards to your love life for those of you, um, uh, for those of you, I'm so used to doing piles, you all. Um, but yeah, for, for those that this resonates with, so definitely with this, uh, Empress in Reverse at the bottom of the deck, I'm not seeing that it's a brand new creation of a new relationship, um, or you even rekindling with this person, because I'm not picking up for those of you that are single and this message resonates with, you don't necessarily want this person back. Um, it's just that you're, it's like you're upset at, at it's like you feel like time was wasted. That's what that is. You feel like time is wasted. 